Why do I have to memorize this poem? Why do I have to solve this calculation? This is in no way connected to the things that I wanted to do in life, even though I had no idea what I actually wanted in life. But I knew I didn't want this. And it took me after school and like traveling to other countries to not figure out what I wanted in life. I don't think I have this figured out yet at all, but I think I'm much closer. And I know that school really didn't help, but what it did help me was just learn about the things that I wanted to, to learn to really have this ownership of the choices that I was able to make. And I think this is why I enjoy games so much, because there you choose what you want to do. You choose the quests that you want to complete, at least in most games that I've been playing. And this is so much more intrinsically motivating instead of being told this is what you have to do. And something that really helped me is to use these game elements that I knew were working for me and apply them to my real world. And through this, I was able to turn activities like working as a cashier or working for assistant in a kitchen and really see why I was doing that, mostly to just earn money to get the newest games or get some like new equipment. But I knew why I wanted to do these things and it felt like a quest and being able to turn instead of following this path that someone else set me on, I wanted to choose my own path. And even though I didn't know what this path was going to be, I knew that it was going to be similar to how video games are structured. And that's how I started gamifying my life. That's why I thought about, okay, what are the things that I really enjoy and that will benefit me for a long time? So essentially, what are the habits that I want to build, which I can do for a long time? And then I started rewarding me for doing these habits that I wanted to maintain and punishing me for the habits that I didn't want to continue. And that's why I love gamification, because you can turn things that you don't like as much, but you know that are important and use game elements to make them more enjoyable. So you know that you're moving towards a direction that you want to move towards while also rewarding that. And this this can help you when you want to establish habits like exercising or meditation that may not be as fun in the beginning, but you know you will have a lot of returns in the end. So just rewarding that with something that you like to do afterwards can be hugely beneficial and just trying to make the habits that you don't want to do, adding so much friction that it's very difficult to do that. And also having people that hold you accountable. So this turns life into a multiplayer game. I personally really enjoy the tracking because sometimes we forget what we have accomplished already and by looking back a little bit it is also nicer to see what we want to do in the future so just thinking about the things that you want to do while also keeping in mind things that you have already done and putting them all in a system that allows you to really gain points level up and see oh i have reached like level three in this specific area or maybe overall and i actually build a system that you can really use this it's completely free you can check it out down in the description and it's just a notion template so you can duplicate it and play around with that and since notion works a little bit like lego blocks you can just take parts of the system and integrate it in yours and just completely use it as a tracking mechanism for using your habits or your projects but also being able to see the progress that you made across these errors was so valuable to me and really motivated me and it also helped me balance life and overall because let's be honest life can get so complicated if you think about when you're studying you may have have a job on the side you want to keep in touch with friends you have like family that want to like also spend time with you and there are so many other interesting things that you want to read about which may not be connected to your studies and then you want to stay in shape maybe you have an idea that you want to build your own business or something to solve a problem in the world and like all of these things become so overwhelming so quickly especially if you just have this huge to-do list on getting everything done and looking at that can be super discouraging and I was feeling the exact same way when I was studying in a city that is further away so I also had to commute two hours to there and even though I was reading books and listening to podcasts during that time it cost me so much and in the end it was one of the major reasons why I decided this wasn't worth it for me and I wanted to have a fuller life that wasn't spent on just commuting from one place to another especially if there were so many more interesting things that I could 
able to do. And obviously the, the studies were also not a perfect fit for me, but just being able to decide this and say, okay, I want to actually balance life and keep track of like all my errors and really level up in this holistic way to uh, remain sane without sacrificing my health or my friendships. And being able to do that is so important that it really helps you decide what you want to do in life. And I think there isn't this one thing that you want to do in life. It's more like, okay, what do I want to accomplish in this specific area? Oh, in terms of health, I want to live a very long life. And with this quest in mind or this vision, I can make the decisions now already and think about projects and quests that I can complete that get me closer to that vision or also the vision that I have with my friends. I know that I want to travel the world and make friends all over. So I can think about already which countries that I would want to travel towards and maybe have this part of my next vacation already. So by thinking further in the future in that area of like friends and networking, I can make the decisions and have a quest to say, hey, I want to go to Finland next year or I want to travel to the Netherlands or go to Canada. It's a bit more complicated when you think about your area of friends. But something that I know that I will want in the future is I want to have a broad network across the whole globe and I connect this with traveling and this really helps me find this path in this specific area. Also, what I really want to do in my life, like what's my purpose? For me, I've decided that I want to gamify education and by knowing that I can make the decisions now which will move me a step closer to that. And then if you look at this whole holistically saying, okay, I want to live a long life. I want to be connected very globally and have friends in many different countries and also move towards this direction of education and really improve that and make it more fun and engaging, then I can make the decisions now with a much higher accuracy what I want to do in life later on. So this is how I really think about the potential that I want in the future by looking at these all these different areas of life, what I want to accomplish and just think about wouldn't it be nice if this were to happen? Okay, when I have this vision for the future, then I can think about the things that I can do right now to make this future more probable. And if this whole system intrigues you and you also want to gamify your life or just enjoy education at the highest level and really unlock your potential, then you can check out my previous videos, which explain the different errors in a little bit more detail or even go and explain this whole concept of holy game and the more detailed direction on how you can reach your potential because your potential isn't just limited to what's like this one thing. You have different potentials in different areas of life and this can be thought about and this can be reached by just thinking about what you want to accomplish, what you want to do and how you can get there and then trying to make the journey as fun as possible.